We're going to the airport here in Louisville, Kentucky. I got my man, Skiles, in the building. He's driving his pops' his truck right now, and I, I don't know how to... I don't know about the clutch on this, Skiles. It's about it's about a three-foot step in on this thing. A little bit different from my... Uh, holy... Oh. Okay, we got a yellow red light. Red light. Easy. So, yeah, so anyhow, we just uh, finished up the Louisville USGP races. Pretty good. Pretty good Pretty good venue. Pretty good spectators. You know, I didn't personally get to try any of the Papa Papa John's, right? Papa John's yeah, pizza. Yeah, good good ingredients, but uh, I didn't get to try them. So, anyways, that's really what was... That was really the... You know, it's got a kind of a weird smell to it right now. Well, the second time it does, too, yeah. Um... Talking about the clutch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you you don't drive stick very often, do you? Oh, you're killing me right now. Well, I'm just look at this. Look at this. Do you want to see a power shift? No, I, I actually I no, don't. Actually, I don't want to really grind it in. But but you know we're going F-150 here. Uh. Kentucky Blue. Wow. I might ask the wrong person for a drive to the airport. Anyhow. No, I'm just I'm just kidding with you, buddy. Yeah. yeah. This guy looks like a lumberjack. Hey, we're going we're going three on the bench right now. Yeah, man, three in the front. That's I uh, dude, this is nothing. I do four in the front of the Caprice. Oh, you're running a Capri? Yeah, dude, a 1990 Chevy Caprice. You call it a Caprice. Uh, it's a Caprice. I thought it was just called a Capri. No, no. Silent. It's Caprice. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> no, so uh anyhow. So one you've, you've changed your name to J Pack. Notice that on the on the phone. You know, I just I figured Sounds that's good. I figured that if I said, Hey, this is Jeremy Powers, you'd probably be like, huh? Who is this? Because I know you, you yeah. don't you don't really call me that. No. So no. I I would imagine that you would only know me by my nickname, so I just that's I immediately right. That's right. I identify myself in the third person with my nickname. <laughs> so so what's it like traveling with your team? You guys were staying at the Ramada there. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, that's not a great location for the race. Yeah, it wasn't not, the, not the greatest place. To no, in no, it definitely it wasn't. But you know, we went down to the Slugger Museum and we checked out some of the cool parts to, of Louisville. It was, it's actually a really nice place. And uh, I didn't, I, not for one minute did I think that this was going to be a bad venue. But I didn't know what to think because I've never been to Kentucky. So, well, it's, it's a great place. No, it's, I mean, you're from here, so obviously it's considered the Midwest, not the South. Right, exactly. So. uh so yeah, I mean, no, but I, I was I was really pleased with everything, and the venue was the venue was good. The you hotel right you there, won. I did. I won. I won yesterday, and then. What did you do with all your winnings yesterday? I don't know. I didn't even get any of the prize money. It wasn't like Vegas where you had a little tangle. No, 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 no. You know what? The thing was today. Well, yesterday I won. Great, wonderful. Everything was is great, and then today, crashed into Barry Wicks. He was going through the sand pit. He fumbled his bars, and then I ended up on the ground on top of him doing dirty things. Not because I wanted to, because he, he put me there. He pushed me to do that. What do you, you think? What, would you yell at him? Well, I told him not here, not now. You know? <laughs> See, we're in the middle of a bike race, and Barry's trying to he's trying to do dirty things to me. It's I crazy. Mean, threatened to throw dogs or what? No, no, it wasn't like that, you know. But he's been talking dirty on the podiums lately, you know, rubbing up on me and stuff. And like, hey, Powers, look how close I am. You know, that's... That's weird stuff. Yeah, but you were you were quoted in the uh, the local paper saying you were surprised that uh, Ryan Trebon wasn't right there with you. Yeah, you know he's got. I, don't know, I mean, were you trying to do a little antagonizing? Or... No, no. You know, it's like last last week, a couple weeks ago in New York, he was given to us, and then this weekend we were giving it to him. So it's you know, it is what it is. It comes around, goes around. But where are you going next? I mean, we're taking you to the airport. Yeah, I don't yeah, know where yeah. you're flying. Home to so. Connecticut. Well home to Hartford to go drive back up to Massachusetts and then on Friday we leave for Boulder Boulder yeah Boulder you mile high, it's Bo a mile that's high. right Boulder Cup you know we're coming for you Graylish thank you <laughs> this is the promoter I know Chris Grealish that's right he's been the promoter for races in Boulder probably for 15 years 20 years maybe he's a good guy very good guy so I like him. So you go to Boulder. You're going to be going back to Europe. Yeah, in December. And I'm bringing my turntables with me. Did I tell you that I got some new turntables? Yeah, well, I mean, I heard about it. Yeah, they're, it's sick, man. It's what's popping in the streets. Uh, you, you, I mean, how do you carry that with you? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get a, I'm gonna get a travel case. As a matter of fact, I was looking at them last night. They have cases that you put the mixer, the turntables in. Right. And then it literally has the bars in it to just pop it up and, and set the whole thing right on up. 
So I don't even need to bring a stand or find it. You know, I, it's not like I'm going to be DJing on the floor. So this is a stand that I can, you know, pops up. 200 bucks, done. And it gets everything there safe, no problems. So so people are going to come to see you at parties. Well, I mean, if uh, if I don't do something with my time in Belgium, I'm, you know, I'm not doing that again. Well, alone. You prepare, get some Euro jeans and some... Uh some narrow yeah <laughs> well immediately you got to lose five pounds when you go to belgium that's yeah, the first thing you know exactly because they do the ass check every time on you you know first yeah. thing it's like everyone in new york you know he looks at you he just immediately says, oh jeremy how you doing up and down up and down okay so you were third at vegas huh this uh, this is good huh? <laughs> thinking you know yeah just checking me out immediately checking you out trying to it's, see what kind of muscles you might play yeah super vegas. super belgian but um but yeah you know what I, I, it's gonna be good Belgium with the turntables you know without the turntables I might just go insane but I feel like by the time I get home from Belgium with those I'm gonna be pretty good because the only thing to do there is really <laughs> ride your bike eat and well you know you can only look at yourself so long on the internet you know what I mean googling things and looking at